welcome to Downriver Top Team. Uh, a, a little MMA content coming your way for Toff TV. I'm Damon. Of course, I said that I was going to be putting more uh, alternative kind of content on our YouTube channel. So here it is. Uh, first thing I want to talk about Islam Mahachev. He really looked dominant against Bobby Green last night. He won by TKO in the first round. It was his second uh, TKO or KO victory in the UFC. The last one came against Glyson Tebow uh, back in 2018. He won with a clean one-punch knockout. Uh, first time Bobby Green had been stopped since 2016 against Dustin Poirier. So he went about six years without being finished. A guy who's really hard to, to finish and hit, but it's easier to hit a guy like Bobby Green who's so defensively standing up if you take him down and get him in full mount and, and lay in ground and pound. So much respect to Bobby Green. He took the fight on really short notice against a really, really tough guy in Islam. And Islam's more than likely going to get the next title shot unless something crazy happens where both Gaethje and Oliveira are both banged up or get hurt or something. And he's got to fight like the winner of RDA and Rafael Fasiv or Rafael Fasiv. More than likely getting the next title shot. I like Islam's chances against Gaethje. If Gaethje wins at UFC 274, I think he's going to follow kind of a similar game plan as when Khabib fought Justin. I think Oliveira, though, if he beats Gaethje in 274, I think he's got a better chance to beat Islam. Uh, Islam's one loss in the UFC was against Adriano Martins. I think that was in 2016 or 15, something like that. And he got knocked out. And Oliveira... I think is better on the feet than Islam. And I think that Oliveira, his ability to be able to kind of commit to uh, hard kicks and punches is going to help him out because he's so good off his back. So if Islam potentially gets hurt standing up and tries to shoot a desperation double leg and ends up getting caught in a guillotine, that could be a real possibility. Now, I'm not uh, a wizard or anything like that, but I do favor Oliveira a little bit more than Justin should Islam and Oliveira fight. I think Oliveira is definitely going to win at UFC 274. Uh, I just think matchup wise, it's it's hard for Justin to beat Oliveira. Oliveira's stand up has looked so good. His submissions are always on point, and I, I think when we're looking at Oliveira and Islam probably at some point in the fall again, barring any sort of uh, damage done to him from the Justin fight, which is very likely because it's a Justin Gaethje fight. Uh, next thing I wanted to bring up, Gegard Masazi, dude, 36 years old, which is funny to say because he's only like three years older than me, but Gegard looked great. He smashed Austin Vanderford. I thought Vanderford was going to give him a little bit of problems with the wrestling because Masazi, you've all seen in the past with like the King Mo fight, the second Jacare fight, and uh, a couple other fights in his career has been troubled by the takedown. Uh, takedowns kind of have been his Achilles heel, but I I thought he looked great. He won in, I think, a little less than two minutes, and he pretty much couldn't miss on the feet. Vanderford just really couldn't get anything going with his takedowns or anything like that, and, you know, he, he got hurt standing. He tried to shoot a desperation double leg, but when Musazi gets in top positions, he's got some of the best ground and pound in the game. Very similar to, say, like a Luke Rockhold when they get in top positions. It's really hard for you to really get out of that bottom position unscathed. And I think that Musazi looks really good. I wish, you know, he would was still in the UFC. Like, I wish we would have got him versus Romero, Rockhold, um, Bisping, that sort of thing. But, you know, I don't blame him. He's getting paid boatloads of cash to to beat up former welterweights in, in Bellator. So, you know, shout out to Musazi, man. He, he still looked really good. His shots had a lot of pop to it. And, um, you know, I, I'm interested to see what Bellator does with him. Maybe they try to give him, you know, have him go up because he's fought the last two welterweight champions. Maybe they have him go up and fight someone like, who is even the light heavyweight champion right now? Nemkov, the winner of Nemkov and Corey Anderson. I could see Musazi fighting one of those guys. I think personally, Musazi would beat Corey Anderson. I don't know about Nimkov, but I I could see Musazi probably finishing Corey Anderson. Not to slight Corey Anderson, I just think stylistically, if Corey can't get the takedown, Musazi would probably jab him up, piece him up. But anyway, thanks for listening to Downriver Top Team, or I guess watching in this case. 
hoping to bring more wrestling, MMA, and other content to the Toff TV channel. So stay tuned, and we'll see you soon. And then also, they made Dominic's dad unbelievably hot. Like, it's out of control how hot this dude is. <laughs> like, he's handsome. He's got perfect teeth. He ha- he wears that goddamn stupid Toretto chain with the cross. He's oh, jacked. God. And is he's he constantly like, wearing a white wife beater, too? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's wearing a wife beater under like a mechanics like shirt in one scene. 